what is going on you guys so today um i decided to make a little um different type of video for you guys um i'm gonna be showing you uh my car the car that i drive on the daily um to and from work um before anything before i get into a little review of that if you're not interested in this video you can go ahead and just click away um this video is just i'm just doing it um to maybe get some um some uh feedback on the type of cars that you guys drive and um what do you guys think about my car um you know um i know a lot of people are uh just not shoe collectors or just not kobe fans um that view my channel um they also are into cars and other type of things in life so i figured i'd make this just to give you guys a little look at what i drive on the daily and uh maybe it will drive interest in some of you guys if it doesn't you guys can go right ahead ahead and uh, click out of the video like i said um but yeah guys um uh first and foremost i'd like to say um i hope that everyone is out there staying safe um during this lockdown quarantine uh situation we are still in um uh i know a lot of us are you know close to a little bit more than a month already being quarantined or so and you know um i figure i'd give you guys a little bit different content to keep you guys a little bit uh entertained while you guys are at home um staying safe and looking for ways to keep yourself entertained um so yeah guys as you guys can tell um you guys get a little bit of a of a wider look but i do drive a 2017 dodge challenger uh rt um and this is how it looks like um I bought this at the end of the year of 2017. Um, I was able to get a, I guess, decent deal because there was a uh, year-end type of uh, 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 deal they were trying to give me. You know, they were just trying to get rid of their inventory simply because um, the year was coming to an end. And uh, yeah, um, prior to this, I actually had the same car, but just the SXT model and it was all red um all red with no stripe um but yeah i mean um so this has been my second um dodge challenger um that i bought within the last uh three four years whatnot so um yeah guys i've had it since the end of 2017 we are now in 2020 uh april and um i've had it since then um uh, I really love this car. Um, I know it's it's an RT model. Um, there's you know the SXT. There's the RT. There's the um, um, what is it called? The Scat Pack, the Hellcat, the Red Eye, and stuff like that. But uh, you know, uh, for a person that just drives to work, um, I don't race. I don't do much of anything than just drive to work, drive to the store, drive to the gym, stuff like that. Um, I stay local. I don't go out much. Um, um, I figured this was a good um, car for me as far as uh, what I needed. And um, so I went ahead and purchased it. Now, prior to both of my Challengers, I had a Chrysler 300. Um, I drove that car for about six, seven years or so and a, uh yeah i mean i it was time for a change uh i was never really a big car person per se but um after you know what after buying my first challenger and after buying this one i became more interested and more interested into um you know different types of of, of models of, of cars and stuff like that that there is out there and um uh, yeah it just got me a little bit more interested in in cars as it is um so i've had this since like i said the ending of 2017 and um i've actually been looking to um upgrade this 
Now, I'm not a type of person that will need a haircut or anything like that. Um, I believe that the Hemi does its job as it is, but I feel like um, I still need a little bit more push. I'm a type of person that uh, is never satisfied. So even after I got the SXT, I heard the Hemi. Obviously the SXT does not roar. Um, you know, the muffler and all that is not, as, is not loud at all. Uh, it's like you're driving a freaking Honda, uh, you know, at the Walmart parking lot. So it doesn't do anything. Um, and if you're gonna have a muscle car, you might as well have some type of V8. So, uh, with that being said, this car does its job for what you need it to. Um, it's it's loud as it is. It does a good job with, you know, I did do a muffler delete. Um, so it has been really good to me. Um, not not uh, nonetheless. I mean, just the look of it uh, with the stripe. Uh, I got the car um tires you know lettering on there um so it pops you know i i get a lot of compliments still on it um just by the way it looks um now the only reason i would like to um upgrade is because i really like the wide body look of the new challenger scat packs and, and stuff like that um it gives it more of an aggressive look um obviously this is a 5.7 the scat packs would be a five uh six point two i believe 6.4 um correct me if i'm wrong i might be wrong in that i've been seeing a little bit of of both of our type of other muscle cars so i get confused with which ones are 6.2 which ones are 6.4 but anyways yeah i just like the aggressive look of the wide body uh with the scat pack the new body um and uh also i would also like it um to be that army dark green um i believe that color man and, and a muscle car looks really really nice i've seen it a lot on on uh, uh dodge um the scat pack or the hellcat um chargers and man that aggressive like army looking dark green um i believe they call it f8 f8 green it looks really really nice so yeah man as you guys can tell um i've just tinted the windows i've done the muffler delete i added the uh, tire lettering um you know but uh yeah i've been doing research um on the scat packs um you know it, they are affordable for what you needed and it still has enough of that um power that you need for uh you know just to be on the streets and stuff like that um but these are really nice cars man i, I like uh, out of all the muscle cars i believe um the challengers are the, one of the best more aggressive looking cars um the camaros are really nice um i, I will say those are second best and then and then um i mean th this is going off the three cars that i see the most driven right now which is challengers camaros and mustangs I would put them as challengers being the more aggressive looking better looking uh, and then camaros and then um mustangs but uh yeah man um this is pretty much um what it looks like uh what i drive on a daily to and from work um you know just doing the daily stuff i'll show you guys a little bit of the inside so like i said this is a an rt um i got like the black uh blacked out package where it has the black uh, leather interior inside um it has really done a really good job for me um i don't like i said i don't drive it too much i could say uh, which means i'm not sitting in the car a long time and stuff like that so the leather hasn't um given those those wrinkly effects on it uh yet and uh um i also take care of my cars i do not um I do not uh, like having a messy car. I don't eat in my car. Um, I, if I drink anything, it's going to be a lot just water. Um, once in a while, you know, if I pick up a coffee or stuff like that, that'll be it. But I do not, you know, let anyone really eat in here. Um, you know, I try to clean in as clean as, po as possible. And uh, yeah, you guys, I mean, this, like I said, this is the black top, um, black top version or whatever. And it's all leather interior. I did get the sunroof um, up here, which I really love. Um, so if I were to upgrade, that has to be one of the things I like. I like the big screen as well. 
but yeah, man, uh, I'm sure a lot of you guys have already seen tons of these in the inside. Um, and this has just, I, I really fell in love with this car. I fell in love with everything. Uh, the interior, I've been in Camaros, uh, and the inside is really small. Um, the back seat has enough room. It has at least way more room than a, Car a Camaro uh, does. And then, uh, yeah, man. Um, so, you know, like I said, I'm sure you guys have seen tons of these already. I'm not going to go into a really big review. I just wanted you guys to show you guys what I drive on the daily. Um, and yeah, man. Um, um, let me know what you guys think, though. Do you guys think I should actually upgrade um, from an RT to a scat pack? I know a lot of people um, just jump right into a scat pack as it is. Um, like I said, I kind of bought my first challenger without knowing a lot of the trims on 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 the challengers so i bought that one just because of how it looked and um yeah you guys i mean i, I really like the way this one does look but i feel like that more wide body um will look way even better more aggressive um the tire lettering i added to this really makes it look nice and pop uh, as well with the stripe so um, you know, and then it has the back, uh, little, um, uh, what the camera thing is. And then, yeah, guys, um, that's, uh, my car. Like I said, it is the black, uh, black top, uh, package. So it does have the RT emblem right there in black. I know a lot of cars have it in, uh, red and yeah, man, um, that's pretty much it. Um, I do have my Kobe Jersey inside. And, uh, yeah, guys, uh, let me know what you guys feel or, uh, what you just suggest I should do. Um, you know, I have been actually, um, let me get inside my car because I don't know if the wind is picking up my voice, but I do want it. Um, I do, ha I have been checking out the pricing on scat bags right now, and a lot of them are. A little bit lower than they were a couple months ago simply because I feel this whole um, virus thing going around has uh, driven sales on a lot of stuff down uh, especially cars um, you know a couple thousand I've seen a couple of Hellcats go for the high six sixty thousands to lower 70s uh, and those were the ones that I used to see at 80 85 you know so um, yeah man um, you know if i were to buy one i think right now is the perfect time um considering you know um they're a little bit lower than usual but uh i i know last year um before this whole uh craziness in the world happened i was searching to buy a scat pack and i almost did um but i just couldn't find an f8 green color anywhere I saw a lot of red ones, um, but the one I really wanted was the F8 green. Um, those are a little bit, I guess, less produced, uh, a little bit more rare. Um, but I have seen them online. I know they do exist, especially with the red uh, interior. Um, I would love that one. Um, it, has, it has that F8 green um, outside with the red interior uh red red seats oh man I, I would really jump on that car right away so um that's pretty much it guys um i'm gonna turn it on right now i'm not sure if you guys are actually gonna be able to hear it because i don't have anyone who actually hold a camera outside right now but i am gonna turn it on give me one sec here it goes guys Let me see if uh, you guys can hear this over my camera phone as I give it a couple revs here. I hadn't, uh, the 
last time I actually turned this car on was in the morning when I was headed to work and I'm actually just leaving work right now so I wanted a uh, it's a semi cold start I guess you can say so let's see if you guys can catch this on camera from my from my inside uh, my angle right now Hopefully you guys were able to hear a clear sound of that or a semi clear sound of that but uh it is a nice car like i said uh it does give it a good uh it does pop uh you know the muffler delete did come in handy um but like i said i, I just feel like the, i would be a lot more comfortable with a nice wide body uh scat pack um but you never know if i run into a hellcat that you know is is it for a decent price um you know the scat packs right now i see them going for around forty thousand forty five thousand uh which is a you know a re a decent price to be honest for for what you really need it for and um you know especially since i'm not a type of guy that is going to be racing and stuff like that um you know a scat pack i think would do the job um as it is um uh, but yeah guys um like i said i'm not gonna go into a much a uh, uh, in-depth review of you know the inside and all the you know performance pages and everything else and all that i'm sure a lot of you guys already know all that um it is just a regular rt uh 2017 and uh yeah let me know what you guys think if you if i should upgrade if i should just try to go for a hellcat instead um you know um it, these are really beautiful cars really nice cars um you know once you get inside of ones once you drive it once you step on the pedal you'll fall in love uh as many of you guys you should you know already know but uh yeah this is kind of my other baby i guess or my first baby aside from me collecting shoes um what i invest my money on or what i put my money on this is not really an investment but what I put my money on and kind of make myself happy. This is kind of what I do, uh, uh, you know, to kind of uh, satisfy my 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 happiness or whatever you want to call it. So, anyways, guys, I'll let you guys go. Uh, like I said, I hope you guys are taking care of yourselves. Uh, stay safe out there. Um, take your vitamin C. Um, stay indoors and. You know, I'm really hoping this is all over soon so we can go back to normal, watching sports, watching the Lakers. Um, you know, baseball season should have already started. Watching some Dodgers. Um, and yeah, guys, I uh, hope you guys are all doing well after this. And uh, take care. Let me know what you guys think. Peace.